Hello everyone and welcome to my playthrough of Factorio. Alright, this is a very special milestone uh, because we hit episode 100 today. Very exciting. Uh, and I've decided to make this a YouTube premiere. I've never tried that before, so I don't know if anybody will actually be there when the premiere goes on, but I guess we'll, we'll find out. Should be interesting regardless. Uh, so that'll be fun. Um... We have a lot of stuff I want to get to today. I hope we actually get to it all. So the first thing we want to do is we want to hook up all of our science to our labs and get our labs set up. Um, why is this guy not getting any engines? No gear wheels. Oh, because you don't have iron. There you go. That could be a problem. All right, all these other ones do though, right? Yeah, the rest are all good. So this should, yeah, start cranking along. Cool, okay. Um, yeah, so we need to decide where we wanna put it. And I placed them all here because I, I was uh, freaking out because I didn't understand why I had so many labs. But, uh, it's because I didn't have my lab thing built at the time. I'm going to just crank this up because I don't know if there's more over here. Uh, actually, I guess we could look at the blueprint, right? It should tell us. 148 labs. Okay. So, yeah, there should be more in here then. Um, actually, there should be... A lot more. Uh, let's see, is this 10 across? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yes, so that's 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, that's like 160 labs. So that should be all that we need. Uh, we might have to come back for uh, more inserters and stuff. But that's okay. Uh, so, since we are not utilizing this space for science anymore because we talked about how insane it is to have this much science going on. Maybe we should just put it right here. I think that would be just, just fine. A fine idea. And it looks really cool. So, yeah, maybe we'll just put it right here. Um, I'm going to go up a little bit because I just want to leave enough room to maneuver belts around because there's going to be a lot of belts. We have six sciences that all have to come over here. So maybe we'll move it. Well, do I want to center it between the two builds? Yeah, I think I do. So yeah, let's put it right there. And this could take a while to build. I guess while they're doing their thing, we can continue working. So we need to bring... Yeah, see, this is already crazy. We have three, three belts here, which we can't really do anything with more. We can't really do anything with more than one of these. So I guess we're just gonna combine them like that and bring them over here. And then, yeah, let's go down. Oh, we're already out of stuff. We're out of red belts. Okay. Well, my bots are going to have to follow me for a minute. Let's 
grab a bunch of belts. All my sad little bots coming back to me so slowly. Don't worry, guys. You'll get there eventually. Okay, so um, I think we should do in the order of the science as they are here. So red, green will be this first belt here. And um, I should also kind of figure out how we are going to route all of these two before I load a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, charge up little buddies. There you go. All right, so yeah, we're gonna get green over this way. And I guess we can, this doesn't need to be there anymore. Just come down here and we'll run all the other ones parallel to this one. Oh, you guys drained my battery. No wonder I'm running so slow. That's unfortunate. All right. Oh, we have two green belts. Did I get that backwards? Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, and I'm out of splitters too. All right. Let's make the slow trek back for more undergrounds and more splitters. And you guys, a couple of you guys have mentioned or asked me um, why I'm coming over here to reload. And the main reason I'm doing that is just because I know I have a bunch of extra junk in here that I'm trying to get rid of rather than um, going over to my mall down here because this is going to produce new stuff every time I take stuff out of these chests, right? So I, I want to try to prevent that and use everything up here first. So that's why I keep coming over here first. And that chest monster is something we're going to have to deal with relatively soon, I think. But not today. Okay, so there's green. Here's military. And this is just a single belt. Looks like I got almost all of it built. What are you guys missing? Inserters and undergrounds. Okay. Then let's go get more. Do we have any inserters over here? Yes, I do. Good. Okay. Can 
Come on, sad little guys. Are they not flying out to do stuff because the battery's too low? I'm guessing that's why. Or did they finish? Oh, maybe the maybe these guys. No, this isn't in the construction zone. I didn't see them fly out to place stuff, so I'm not sure how it got finished. But anyway, it's done, so that's good. All right, so then we've got blue next, right? Okay. It's going to be a little bit um, zigzaggy over here because we got to have room to maneuver around that uh, rail over there. Oh, no, now they're flying out. Whoops. Okay, I thought I placed a belt over the top of that other belt, but I did not. We're good. Okay, now I think they're done constructing. So my battery should start charging again soon, hopefully. Oh, nope, they're not done yet. How come I don't have my little flashy thing down here anymore? That's odd. Well, maybe they're done now. I don't know. Okay, and then I need purple. And we still have yellow also. Which is going to be <laughs> a pain because of this rail right here. We're going to have to squeeze it up above, I guess. It's a little unfortunate. Okay, so let's go maybe up a couple and then over. Then we'll come down. Let's just get rid of this cliff. Oh, I went too far. Because we need to basically be, yeah, right on this rail line here. Can that go here? Yeah, good. Oh, don't get hit by the train. Out of belts. Let's go grab some more. And yes, you guys keep telling me that I can uh, just make logistic, uh, put robo ports everywhere, which I could for them to bring me stuff. But again, I'm trying to take it from the chest monster first and you can't really do that easily if you put robo ports all over the place. Unless I remove the robo ports from down here, I guess. But I don't want to do that either. Look at all this beautiful science sitting here ready to be put into these labs. So exciting. Okay, so let's bring this down, I guess, to here. And then we'll go up. And then this one. here. Oh, shoot. I was not 
thinking that was going to happen. Whoops. We have to combine them before we put them in the splitter. For some reason I was thinking that it would combine them um, you know, green and red both on both belts. But yeah, uh, okay, that complicates things a bit. Um, okay. Let's get rid of this, and then we're gonna have to do... this three times. So, like that, and then let's go here. like now. Okay, this is still messed up. There we go. This is messed up. There we go. Yeah, all these are going to be messed up with the red. We don't have any coming over this way. Why is that? Why are these undergrounds? Yeah, we just want these to go right in here. Yeah, those are messed up. These are messed up. These are undergrounds when they should be regular belts. Okay, maybe I can... Get rid of these now. Oh, I wish it wouldn't take so long. I'm just gonna place down a chest and get power over here. Do a stack inserter. Put those in there. Do the same thing over here. Except the green isn't moving right now. Neither is the red now. I guess because it got filled in. Let's make sure it's going to all the places. Purple, I'm guessing we just don't have very much of that. We have some here and here. Yeah, there's none trickling in at the moment. Is this thing actually on? No rails. Oh, no steel. Right. Yeah, we talked about that. Uh, was that last episode? I can't remember, but it's the same problem we've always had with the 
the train not uh, being balanced. So the iron is all going to these first two, which just makes iron plates. The steel is down here, which gets fed from this line of furnaces, which is currently doing nothing. So yeah, that's kind of a problem. But it looks like we do have everything working correctly here as far as the science is getting to all the things. The science is going into all the labs. And it looks really, really cool. I like it a lot. Um, let's just go ahead and hook this back up. And I'll just put my extra sciences over here for now. Or actually, we could just put them right in the labs, can't we? Or unless they're all full. Maybe they're all full. Nope, that works. Cool. Okay. That was a much easier way to get rid of it. I don't know why I did not think of that first. Okay, so that means we can start researching again. Oh, except <laughs> we need yellow. Well, a lot of this stuff needs purple, which we have. So we can start research on this. This is one thing you guys told me I needed to, to do. Reprocess and use uranium fuel cells to create uranium-238. Yeah, we, we do want to do that. And this gives us beacons, which I haven't checked out yet, but I want to. So that's a, a definite yes. Automation level three, yes. Coal liquefaction. I still don't know if I would use this, but I guess we may as well research it. Why not? Breaking Force 3. Sure. Inserter Capacity Bonus 4. Sure. Ah, blue stuff. Yeah, let's do that as well. Worker Robot Cargo Size. Oh, increases the number of items that logistic and construction robots can carry at once. Really? Well, that's nice. Can't research anymore though. Hooray, we have stuff going again. Wow, that's going really fast too. Look at that. <laughs> Holy cow. Look at them all sparkling. That looks so awesome. Oh, and then when the when the uh, inserters all kick on, that looks so cool. That's awesome. And yeah, that is super fast. I love it. Excellent. Okay, so now we can put that on there. Speed module three. Yep. And then we can get product productivity and efficiency module three. But what was that lab one? Lab research speed five. Okay. Wow. Uh... The only problem with going this fast, though, is that we're going to need purple science or else it doesn't really matter how fast it goes because it will just not work at all pretty soon. So, yeah. Okay, so now that we have that... Um, we need to do yellow science, which takes blue, um, blue circuits. I guess they call them processing units. Why don't they call them processing circuits? <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So anyway, that takes... Green and red circuits plus sulfuric acid. That's actually not too bad. Although it looks like all of our green circuits are getting used up by our science now. Well, one belt of it anyway. Uh, 
And looks like we're not producing anymore. Because what are we short on? Iron? We have no copper. Oh, look at our copper situation here. Huh. This is probably the same issue we had with, yeah, with iron we have with copper too. Okay, let's um, just do this for now. And we'll say output priority to the right. Like that. And that'll get it on the bottom here, so it goes right down here first. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so hopefully that will fill this belt up before we need a whole ton of them. But yeah, I think we're going to run into the same issue of not enough ingredients to do a whole bunch of these. It's probably going to be insane. Let's see if we can figure it out. So crafting time is 10 seconds. And if I wanted a full red belt of these, that's 30 items a second. So you got to do 10 times 30 is 300. And then you divide it by the assembler speed which is 0.75 for level twos. It's 1.25 for level threes, which we have now, but these are very expensive to make. I will have to add these to the mall. Um, yeah, so that's over 300. That's like 300 plus an extra 25%, right? I don't think we can do that because that would, that would require 20 electronic circuits times 300, right? Every 10 seconds. That's a heck of a lot. I couldn't do nearly that many. Um, so the, the next question then is where do we put this thing? Um, so if I want to continue my, uh, this thing, my city block idea, which I still don't know if I really want to, but I guess we'll, we'll keep placing these down just in case we want to do it. And you guys have no power. Because we need one of these in the middle. Guess I should make a... A blueprint for... Figuring... Like, figure out where the exact middle is and put one of those there. So I can... Make sure it's consistent. Anyway, um... And then we have this train here, which should be difficult to move. So I want to kind of leave space for the mall though, because there's more stuff we need in there. Like the automation level three, assembly machine threes. And I'm sure there's other stuff too, like beacons, which we have now. So anyway, um, and this is going to be like 
taking up a lot of space too. I guess I could just put it over here. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's just put it over here. So we just need red and green circuits and we need sulfuric acid, which is in this top one. Let's bring this um, main bus fluids over one more. Okay, and then we have to move this out too. I think this is probably the best way to do this. I don't really know. Hopefully it is, but we'll bring it down that way. Something like that. And then we'll have our assemblers over here. Do I actually have a saved blueprint for these or did I just not save it because it was relatively simple? Batteries. No, I don't think I did. Here's red circuits. And these are all named. No, I don't think so. That's okay. So we're just going to grab some assembly machines. And we're going to pick the recipe. And then that's going to give us a pipe. And we can rotate where we want the pipe to be which I think we want it on the back like that. And then we can have the, well, so here's the tricky thing. You can have the pipe right here next to it. So it would be like this and then this, but then you can't put an inserter on this side at all. Unless you used a long inserter, which is probably not the best idea because you need 20 green circuits and two, uh, the two red is no biggie, but the 20 green circuits is, that's a lot. So you should probably have a stack inserter for that. So then what you could do instead is move it here, have a pipe going like that, but no, that's not going to work either because if you have your stack inserter here, or whoops, this way, you still can't get the belt there, of course. So you could go another one out and then have an underground and have the pipe there. Is that better than just having it on the other side? I don't know. Um, what if we did this and rotated it here and did something like this. That's not too bad. Yeah, I kind of like that. I guess the only real downside is that it uses five pipes instead of three. This one also uses five. But this one uses undergrounds, whereas this one doesn't, and it's a little cleaner. Yeah, let's go with this design. So, if we have 20 
green circuits every 10 seconds. That's two per second, right? I think. So that would be 15 of these I could have if we did a full belt. But we're only going to do half a belt if we want to share with the red circuits. So I could only do like seven of these for an entire green belt or an, uh, sorry, an entire red belt of green circuits. That's, that's a lot. So that'd be two, three, four, Oops, didn't mean to cut that. Five, six, I guess I just have to move this over. So it'd basically be that. Um, I can't remember if I have pipe undergrounds in my chest monster. Uh oh. Oh, okay. I thought that was telling me there was missing construction stuff at one of the flamethrower walls. That would have been bad. Alright, so... Do I have any? Yes, I do. Good. Okay. Yeah, blue science is a trickle right now. Research has halted, probably because we're missing purple. So then we'd have our output. We need our power poles. Can I do this? No, of course not. They don't reach. So we got to do every one. Okay, let's do lamps. I guess we'll do those every one too. Why not? And then a belt for output. And we can mirror the whole thing. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just start with this. I already know that it's not going to be enough for, um, there won't be enough green circuits coming into this thing. But we're just gonna build it as is for now. Um, here, let me put this here. Let's see, can I get rid of you know what I should do? Okay, I'm going to delete this one. I should make blueprints of all of the science things I built. This one I don't need either. Nor this one. Okay. So let's remove that and then... Figure out where we can put this thing. Let's 
Put it right there. Okay, and then let's also just do that. Yeah. All right, and then we will uh, go like this. And we will get red and green science here. And I guess we'll do a second input over here. So many attacks. Okay, so this one can go here and here. And I think what I'll do is put a splitter here and I'll say output priority to the right. Same with that and same with that. Okay, and then we'll get red. Okay, and then we'll do a splitter, and we'll actually, uh, hmm, which way would be better? Yeah, I guess this way. There we go. All right, and then same thing over here. There we go. Should give us blue and we can just put these I guess right here Okay. Yeah, so the problem is it'll be pretty slow. But we'll we'll have some anyway. Ooh, look at this. We have nuclear fuel reprocessing now. Cool. Five used up fuel cells only gives you three uranium two thirty eight. That doesn't seem like very much. Wow. I mean, I guess it's better than nothing, but kind of surprising. Plus, it takes 60 seconds. Wow. Okay. Anyway, um, so now that we have that, we still need lots more stuff. We need flying robot frames, which needs batteries and electric engine units, which are no small feats on their own. So I guess batteries will be the next thing we do. Those are pretty easy. Uh, I feel like I'm going to run into the same issue we had with our old base where I build stuff too close to each other. Because I'm sure we're going to want more blue circuits, but like I can't really support many more with our bus the way it is like this. So I don't know what to do. Um, 
let's just copy this. Whoops, I moved. Okay, man, more and more attacks. What are we looking like on our map here? Oh, look at this, we have them encroaching. We have some pollution clouds here. And here. Is that what that is? A pollution cloud? I presume so. But like, why is there pollution here? That's really odd. I don't know. Anyway. Um, batteries. Let's do that next. So that just takes... Iron, copper, and sulfuric acid. Oh, it's made in a chemical plant. Right. Okay. I have ten of them. That's not going to be enough. Um. And yeah, like, where do I build it? Because, like I said, I probably want to make more blue circuits here. So, I don't know, like, over here, I guess? guess that could work. So, battery. And what is this thing uh, as far as... Okay, so four seconds. Crafting time. And we need... Two batteries for these, which is 20 seconds. I guess we could... Hmm. Would we want to make this a fully contained thing like we did for these? Maybe. I guess let's kind of uh, lay it out and see. So we'd have the blue circuits coming in. That would be no problem. So we'd have to have batteries, which will be a chemical plant. Going into a robot frame. Which also needs electronic engines. So, electronic engines. Would have to be here. Which needs engines and lubricant. Ooh. Okay. Uh, no. Sorry, this is, uh... Flying robot frames. Okay. Um, so engines I had... Where was that? Here. Yeah, this is already getting crazy. Plus we have a liquid here. I guess we'll have to get the liquid from the bottom, maybe? Yeah. 
And it needs green circuits. Whew. I guess I'd have to do that with a long inserter. How many does it need? Two. Okay. It's not too bad. I'd have to like do this maybe. And have the green circuits come in here. And this would be like this. And then that's only the first part because then we need low density structures. What do those take? Okay, that's simpler. Still not super simple. Um, maybe those could go here, potentially. Takes three things though. Okay, these both take steel. Man, yeah, this is getting, this is getting nuts. Okay, so these are both just iron. This needs steel as well. And steel is also needed over here. So we could do maybe a splitter. do it over here though gonna have batteries and electric engines coming in but we got to get steel and green circuits over here and then we also have to get oh, both of these into here Could maybe give myself more room here. So that I could do an underground that comes up here and here this would have to be on a belt and then this one Could get steel from here on this belt, and then we could run copper and plastic here up to here, and then grab it off of this underground from here. And then this one needs steel. Oh, shoot. I didn't need to run plastic and copper up here. This one needs copper 
and iron. Oh my gosh. Okay, the iron we can get from over here. Oh, and it needs sulfuric acid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is nuts. Uh, um, I have the same problem with the liquid here that I was talking about earlier with the blue circuits. Should I rotate it? Maybe do it from the top? Maybe. Maybe. We'd have it coming in from over here. And this one... I guess I could move this one down and then have this here. Then this could be an underground. Yeah, that could go there. That would be input for lubricant there, input for sulfuric acid there. Oh, and now this has iron, but it needs copper. And this needs, no, this needs copper. Should I switch these? No, I can't because the, these have to go into here. So we could have copper on this belt. Continue it up here. And then this would go here. That would give me copper. Or actually I could run the copper here just so it's grouped up with the iron might be a little cleaner and then we'll get this going this way and this going this way. Actually, no, I don't even need this to be an underground now. This can just go to here. Uh, we would have to split it though. Um, here, let's do that. I guess right here. This would be an underground that continues to there. Okay, so we've got iron here. I need to mark these, otherwise I'm gonna forget. Um, let me get just like one of each of these, maybe. And it was iron, copper, oh, and steel, too. Okay, I already have that. So let's do my chest thing where we label it with chests. So this one will be iron. That's the one I don't have. Let me just go get them real quick. My labs look so cool. Love those. There we go. One plastic, one iron. All right. Let's 
so we have okay no this one's not iron this although these need iron okay no this oh no it does need iron okay so yes this one is iron this one will be copper This one will be steel. And you need green circuits. That's what this was supposed to be for. Okay. Um, this needs to continue up though, if I want to be able to tile these. Actually, so does this. The steel. So I guess we do need an underground going here to here would be okay. Yeah. So that would be the steel continuing on. So then this would have to be an underground here. Can I even do this? No, there's no gap. I'll have to come over one. Maybe to there. Then that'll let me go. Ooh, that's not good. I guess I have to go here and then squiggle it over one again. Actually, here, let's just line it up with this one. But the problem is to tile it, it has to go back into this position, right? So I actually have to make it go back to there. And I'll have to make sure that I don't get this curved piece lined up with this splitter or else I think it'll connect, which is not what I want. Okay, so copper will be coming down here onto this belt, yeah, and into here. So this still needs, okay, it has steel that's coming in here, so then just plastic. And plastic. How shall I do that? Oh, and this still needs green circuits and so does this. I have the green circuits here. Oh man. Okay, so those are getting into there. How shall I get it over here? Yikes. With a splitter? can't do I can't run this belt up here because there'd be no room for the inserter like if I had the inserter here the belt would have to be here and there's no way to get it there so I guess I have to go on to this side Which is equally nasty. I guess I could come all the way out here. Man, this is like spaghetti to the max. That 
That would do it. I think that would be it, guys. I think that connects all the dots. That's insane. <laughs> That's absolutely insane. <sighs> but I think it'll work. Okay, so then let's... Let's try it and see what happens. Yeah, I just want to see what happens with this just one. So let's extend our belt once more, or our bus. I keep, I always say belt when I mean bus. Oh, I gotta hold shift. Probably gonna run out of belts. I did run out of belts. Too bad you can't hold shift and just like click drag to get a whole bunch of those in your inventory at once. There they go. By the way, my battery is almost fully recharged again. That's nice. anymore. <laughs> Just got used up quite a bit. Okay, so let's start this insanity. So that'll go there. This will go here. Can I even go all the way up here? Yes, I can. Okay, steel, which we don't have any of, hardly. We'll go here. really unfortunate. Um, you know what I'm going to do so that we can actually get some steel over here relatively soon? I'm going to tell this guy just to go to the fuel station, have this guy pull in so that we can get iron into these guys here. Yeah, that'll start bringing steel this way hopefully relatively soon. All right, so we're going to have green circuits here. Let's do an underground here. Oh, whoops, I forgot my rule. Keep that area clear. Okay, and then I did not mark this one. This is plastic. Just plastic, right? I think that's the only thing. What am I doing with it though? I didn't finish. I guess it just needs to continue on. Okay, so then we will go like this. All right, so plastic be here. Oh, right. I also mentioned this a few episodes ago. I was wondering what else needs plastic and I couldn't find it. Well, now we know. 
I stopped the plastic at the end of the red circuit assembly machines right here. So yeah, we need to continue this on. Okay, I think that'll do it. And yes, one of you mentioned that my ratios are totally wrong, which I'm sure is true. I'm trying not to sweat about that as much anymore. And when I say ratios, I'm talking specifically about ratios in amongst the, the singular build I'm doing up here. Like, for example, one of these pipe assemblers could probably feed 10 or whatever of this whole block of things, but I'm just gonna keep everything self-contained in a tileable solution, even if they're not that efficient. Because I think it's just easier for me mentally to deal with it compartmentally that way than not. All right, let's go get more undergrounds, red undergrounds. And we are at an hour and 12 minutes, guys. Going to have to end the episode very soon. Yes, we do have some steel trickling in now. Excellent. It's all going down here, though. Which is not excellent. I'm gonna change this for now. Just because I wanna see if we can get this thing working. Let's just have that continue through. Man, what a mess I'm making here. Okay, hopefully some of those will trickle down this way. Okay, oh, and then I forgot. I was working on getting the plastic down here. There we go. All right, so now it's gonna go right here. Two pieces, <laughs> two plates, and one of them is not even going to go this way. Oh, neither of them did. How about that? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Let's do this. Just so we can get something up here. There we go. All right, we got a tiny trickle. Let's turn this thing on and see what happens. Oh, I forgot my liquids. Oh boy, we got to get um, lubricant down here, which is not on the bus. That's going to be... Well, it won't really be painful, but it's a long walk over there, that's for sure. Let's just get in the car. How about we do that? Yep. 
Whoops. I knew I was going to do that. Okay, lubricant we have here. And yes, the main bus is up here. Actually, this is interesting. We have some petroleum gas. Well, I guess, I guess there isn't actually any in there. But the icon is there. I think that's back from when we were moving it over to here from the right side of the base. Anyway, okay, so let's get this going up this way. I guess we can just do, I don't know, I was wondering if I should line these up or if it's even worth it. Like some are lined up here and some are here. It's kind of all over the place. I guess it doesn't matter that much. Um, so I guess let's just shorten those and be able to place it here. Can I move this over one? Yeah. Okay. And then we'll do this and should I pump it? Yeah, I probably should. Let's do a pump right here. Here. There we go. Cool. So now we should have it all the way to the end of the main bus. And I forgot my car. Hopefully I don't crash into anything. Place your bets now. Hey, we made it. All right. So we're going to have sulfuric acid here and lubricant here. We'll do it like this. And then this one we'll have there. And this will go like that. Whoops. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Wait, did I make that? No, those are one apart. Yeah, that's good. All right. So we have to do this number now. And this is where it gets a little crazy. Um, I didn't think about the fact that I might have to move a pump. have the pumps kind of spaced apart where they need to be though, I think. I guess I'll just take them from here instead. So 
So that one can come here. Okay. And then we got to do lubricant. And I cannot make this one a regular pipe because it'll connect there. So I guess you got to do something like this. <laughs> it seems so weird to have to do it like that. But we'll do it. All right. So then this one. I think that's too far. Yeah, we gotta go here. And of course I'm on out of pipe undergrounds. Uh oh, I had logistics on. Well, I guess we'll be crafting more stuff. Okay, all of this just to see if it even works. I hope it does. There we go. All right, so we got the engines made. We're out of steel. Unfortunately, we got steel in here. We don't have plastic in here. Right, because I didn't set it up correctly. Or, well, actually, here. Can we do it here? Yes. Okay, good. So that's cranking along now. This is waiting on steel. I'm just going to give it some so we can, well, I mean, we do, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I didn't get steel up here. Oh no. Oh no. That's very unfortunate. Okay. Can we go here with it? And do the same thing we did here, but like that, and then put a stack inserter here. I think that will work. So if I drop some steel on here, yeah, it should grab it off of the belt right there. Then it'll come up here. Okay, so this is cranking. These are cranking. This one already has, yeah, it already has. Oh, this needs blue circuits, right. And those, we could do All right, we're gonna have to move this over. Can, can I, hopefully? Yeah, good. So then we'll have blue circuits coming into here and up here. With an inserter here. How many of these? Two. Yeah, I think a regular inserter will be fine there. So then let's mark it. I don't have any. There we go. All right. So then splitter will go here.
Also, I think I messed up my uh, groupings, didn't I? This is a group of four, and then this is one, two. There's a blank space, but it would be three. And then the reds, red circuits would be four. This should be a gap. Oh man, what a mess. Okay, I don't have time to fix it right now. I am desperate to <laughs> see if we see if this thing works. Yay, it's working. That's crazy. That is that is some spaghetti right there, if I've ever seen any. But I can't believe it works. That's really cool. So we're just going to have to figure out the, um, the tiling. But I think I set it up so that they should match up. It's probably going to be a lot of wasted space from here to here. Like this whole section right here is all going to be mostly just blank like it is now. But that's okay. Like... Like I said before, you know, we've got the room, so it should be all right. And then I guess we could duplicate this whole thing, flip it and put it on the other side too. But yeah, we got it. We got our yellow science guys. Um, we had those before. I was trying to figure that out last episode when we were looking at all the sciences. I guess I skipped purple and I did yellow instead. I think that's because I wanted to rush to logistics because I needed the flying robot frames anyway and the low density structures so I did yellow science but I never did purple so anyway yeah this will be good we'll have our yellow science again we have blue circuits now we can easily copy paste this to make more as long as we can actually supply it with enough green circuits but yeah I think that's uh that's a really good place to stop and it's wow it's an hour and 28 minutes <laughs> that's crazy um before we go guys i want to tell you that um if you're new to the channel well welcome uh, i hope you're staying this far to watch the whole thing but um one thing i w i said at the beginning of my channel was that this is a just mostly a place for me to chill and relax and play games either new games or old games that i've really enjoyed in the past um, this factorio playthrough is a i call it a blind playthrough because i've never played it before but i have played other games in the past that i'm replaying on the channel i think what i want to do now is i'm not taking a break from factorio so those of you who are only here for factorio which i think is most of you because none of my other games have gotten many views yet or will who knows but um I will not be stopping Factorio content. I'm still going to play Factorio. I still love Factorio, uh, definitely. But um, these take a pretty substantial amount of time for me to um, edit. and Well, just to play and to edit. Um, so I'm going to mix in some other games here and there. Um, some that probably won't have videos that are as long. They'll be much shorter videos. And that will allow me to make more videos um in less time so that i can still maintain my goal which is to put out one new video every day that's what i'm trying to achieve so anyway i just wanted to let you guys know that um i don't know what games i want to play coming up but i was thinking maybe either the original doom which would be fun and i could just do uh one level per uh, episode and just do you know crank out a whole bunch of those so that they'd sprinkle in with the factorio and maybe i'd release you know doom videos for two or three days and then do a factorio video and then doom videos for two or three days and then another factorio video something like that um and then yeah there's some other games that i might throw in there too i, I don't want to name too many because i don't want to like be held to them or not but some other ones potentially are Quake, the original Quake, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Um, and maybe Stardew Valley, although that one I have a feeling will be the same as Factorio and it'll require just as much playtime and editing. So that might not be the best choice 
to uh, align with my goals, but I have really been wanting to play that game again. So I might, I don't know. Um, and Forager is another one uh, that could be a lot of fun. I've played that one before too, and I really like that game. So anyway, those are just some ideas I have. Um, but for now, we are all done for this episode. And I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you liking my videos, watching, subscribing, all that stuff. And uh, I hope to see you in the next game slash episode. So that's it for me. Take care, everybody, and I'll see you next time.